Alrighty, y'all. How y'all doing? Alright. We are back out in the garage again. And, um, oh, hope everybody's had a good new year. Happy 2023. A little, little late on that, I know, but it is what it is. Okay, I've been interested in trying the HEI ignition module with the Mopar distributor. And I've been reading up on it. Sounds like a good idea. So I got myself an ignition module, wired it up like the wiring diagram says. I even included an ignition switch and the whole works. I think I've got it wired up correctly over here. I'm not sure. So maybe, maybe not. I'm going to get a drill on the distributor to turn the distributor and we're going to see. Okay. So. Let's see. Get my, let's get a cordless drill is all I need. Might help if I have a battery in the drill to power the drill. Yeah, something like that. That would work. Okay. Let's see. Alright, I'm just going to set you up right here on top of the battery to get a better look at what we're doing. Well, it might help if I, like, stabilize the camera a little bit better. I've just got a lot of this stuff just temporarily wired up. So, yeah, none of this is permanent. Oh my God, it works. Look, all right, I got the ignition switch turned on. Isn't that amazing? Can you see the spark? Okay, you probably can't see this one because it's turned over. That is amazing. It works. That's a Dodge coil, by the way. Okay, so let's give you a little parts rundown here so you know what to do. Okay. I'm going to unhook this drill because if I let go of it, it's just going to flop. Well, wait a minute. I'll just flop it over like that. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, all this is right here, this is a Mopar Performance. Well, it's not even Mopar Performance. This is just a regular stock Mopar electronic ignition distributor. Okay. Nothing. Small block V8. Nothing special. Okay. Um, this, outside of this part here this all of this up here is almost identical to like what's inside what for like a slant six or even a big block so this whole setup here this could be used on a big block could be used on a slant six whatever it don't matter okay so the uh the drill is just on here to mimic the engine turning over and turning the distributor drive shaft I'll let you have a look inside the distributor here there's nothing really to hide uh, it's just a your standard Chrysler Mopar electronic distributor well let's see here get some of this. I'm just gonna hook this so you can get a better look at this see it's just your pickup coil in there and your reluctor wheel, your rotor button. You know, you got your two wires coming out of the pickup coil. It goes over there and they come out to that connector. And they just hook up to here. The tan 
or yellow wire, the tan or yellow wire hooks up to this white wire, which goes over to the G post, the G, the G colored, or the blade lettered G. See, it's the small one, okay? Alright, so it's the small one. The red wire just goes over to the blade that's labeled W. Okay? And then the, uh, the coil here is just a, a Mopar coil as well, but this is off, this is a, what's known as an E-Core coil. Uh, you could, you might even be able to use like a canister style coil, you know, like maybe say an Axel or, um, uh, Pertronics, you know, it, you know, the, the canister style of the regular style, like what you see on the older vehicles. This one, uh, just came off of a Dodge Magnum V8, come out of a pickup truck. I got it today at the salvage yard, wired it up here, black with yellow stripe is i assume this was the ground looks like i assumed correctly it goes over here to the to the blade that's lettered c you see that all right and then the the blade that is lettered b gets the red wire the red wire comes out goes to magnetic switch which goes to the positive side okay it also goes to the positive side of the coil that's why there's three ways right here so that goes to the positive side of the coil and makes the whole thing work now before you say anything about this jerry-rigged bit here this is what I'm going to eventually be using but I didn't want to ruin this to temporarily hook this up okay so there you go now these hookups right here i know you can get the correct blade hookups like what general motors would have used on something like this however they are open most of them i've seen are open on, on one side these here are closed on both sides you see closed on both sides now the ignition module part number is LX301. These blade hookups, these flat blade pigtails, they're alternator, they're for a GM alternator uh, pigtails. Part number is 85841. Got them at uh, AutoZone. Okay. The ignition module came from. Uh, O'Reilly's okay and had this laying around went and got the core the coil today from the junkyard had the battery laying around the ignition switch so honestly the most expensive part in this whole deal is this and the ignition coil um, so there you go. That's the most expensive part in this whole mess. Okay. So that's basically it. Oh, and I had my ground running and it was crimped, clamped under here by the, uh, by the, the welding vice grips. Yeah. These guys here. So. All right, I hope I was able to explain that to you just a little bit, you know. I just added the ignition switch so that I could turn things off if I wanted to. You know, being a little fancy, I guess. Whatever, it doesn't matter. What matters is I just wanted to get this working and get all of this working because I know now I know that my ignition is good, my coil is good, this is good, my battery's good um, so next where is all of this mess going to wind up at well there's several vehicles that can go on but 
probably start out putting it on this right here. Okay, this is the, of course, this is the $50 318. And I'm hoping that it's going to, I think it's going to work out just fine on that engine. Oh, let me show you what else I scored at the salvage yard today. Okay, here we go. Yep, I got me some ex Magnum exhaust manifolds. Um, just in case, I might need them for something. You never know. Uh, definitely better to use something like this than the regular old log style manifolds, which are not that great. Uh, yes, these are the later versions, which are smaller. I do realize that the earlier ones are bigger in here. Um, I may take a die grinder in here and enlarge this, open it up some. Um, but I'm not probably not going to get real crazy with it because I don't want to bust through this right here. But um, if I do, I'll definitely make a video about that. Got one of these alternators. I've got two or three vehicles. Got these alternators on them. They're great. So it never hurts to have a couple of these laying around. So, anyway, I just wanted to share all of that with you and uh, give you a little rundown. So, yeah, the $50.318 has been running a points distributor. It's been great. There's been no issues with it, no problems with it. But, um, I want to try the HEI module on that and see how it does. It does great. Then I'm probably going to be moving that whole mess over to maybe move it over to maybe the Ram Charger or maybe the Fifth Avenue and replicate all of this maybe two or three more times. So, all right, I thank you very much. Oh, and before anybody says anything on this G. Yes, I do know this post is smaller than this one. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure that shit out. Okay, so, uh, but they fit well enough. I don't think there's going to be any issues. And I think once there's like a stable wiring harness there and all of this is hooked up to like a, a heat sink, a piece of aluminum, thick aluminum, where that's bolted onto like a firewall or a fender well, I think this, you know, I can probably come back in here with some silicone and seal these ends off to keep moisture from getting down in there and being a problem. Of course, I'll use some dilator grease on these blade connectors too as well. So, I hope that covers it. I hope you all got something out of that. If you have any questions about this video or any of the, any of the others, feel free to... Uh, Comment down below, and I'll do the very best I can to uh, answer your questions, okay? Thank you very much for watching, and uh, as usual, God bless. Have a great one.